And Miles is here with us in the studio right now. Welcome along. Good morning. How are you doing? Hey, yeah, well, it's great to see you. I mean, how does it feel sort of hearing that? Because, I mean, that just is just electric to me. It's it's still strange to me to hear myself singing um, and all the comments have been. It's just, yeah, it's really weird to listen back to. You, you know? feel, you almost look like you're embarrassed by it. Are you? It's, 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 still, it's still just really new to me, I guess, and um, just really odd to hear my name and, people talking about it and, and me singing because yeah that was my first public performance so um it's just yeah really strange for me that that's the thing is but the caliber we mentioned this on friday show after we spoke to you as well the caliber of your performance doesn't really show how dare i say inexperienced you are when it comes <laughs> to music because it's really been restricted to quite a few sort of like you know personal and intimate performances really yeah well, before the blind audition um the televised blind audition i hadn't actually done a public performance I'd sang at my um, sister's wedding and my brother's wedding um, but that that was it as far as experience goes so um, it was a bit of a leap to just go and stand on a stage in front of four celebrity coaches it was a bit a bit surreal and a bit a bit nerve-wracking that's a bit yeah. like going from jogging around the park to the 100 meter final at the Olympics isn't <laughs> yeah. it really when you yeah. think about it no you're absolutely right so please remind us how this journey all started because there were a number of performances which we didn't see. Obviously, we've seen two amazing performances from you live uh, live on TV, but it, there were plenty more performances which went in before that. Sure. I mean, um, my sister entered me for the competition initially, and you, what happens is you're, you're given a, an audition date and, and you go along, and I think there's some 48,000 people at that stage that are, wow. that are vying to get onto the, get onto the, 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 the televised part of the show. Um, and you kind of, that's the first round, and there's, I think there's four or five different stages um, where you sing in front of different panels of, of people um, who, you know, decide whether you're, you progress to the next round. And I, you know, thought it might be a case of going to one or two, perhaps getting through those, and then that would be the end of the road, and I'd be happy with that, um, you know, because I hadn't done anything like it before. Um, but things just started to move quickly and started to snowball, and I just kept getting through and then ended up being asked to, to go onto, onto, the, onto the TV show and, and have a go at singing in front of the coaches. And did that give you more confidence moving forward because you were hearing, yes, plenty of yeses, we want, to, we want you back, we want you back? It did. It starts to creep into your mind that, yeah, maybe, maybe I, can, I can do it. Um, still going on there, I didn't expect to get a turn. Um, I just didn't have any expectations, you know. Um, I was doing it for for um uh, you know not really myself just doing it for other reasons so um but to actually get two turns from you know Sir Tom Jones and, and Ricky for, from the Kaiser's use was yeah. a bit yeah. a bit special so when um when the guys did turn of course you selected Ricky in the end but of course yeah. having Sir Tom Jones who is a pretty significant person I'd in say. the world of showbiz again yeah. that must have been pretty incredible it it was so surreal um and beforehand they ask you you know if you were to get a turn, who would you who would you go for? And I and I said every time Tom Jones. Um, but having said that, when when Ricky turned and and they both turned, and it came to the point where they give their arguments as to why they want you on their team, I just found Ricky really convincing and and um, really honest, and I just believed believed him and believed he would be the best um, coach for me going forward. Have you changed your mind now, though? <laughs> I get on, well. I don't know. I get I get on well with Ricky. Um, or we did sort of in in rehearsals and everything. He's been a great coach. Um, obviously, I don't. It's the main the main issue for him was that his favourite song was Eleanor Rigby, and um, which we did for the uh, the battles, which I didn't know, and um, it's not a song um, that I would normally sing or or would like to sing. Um, but obviously, you just have to go with it. So for that reason, maybe you know Tom and Jones might have picked a song that I I prefer, but. Mm. Um, you know, you just got you just got to take what you're given and do your best with it. And um, that's not Ricky's fault that that's his favourite song. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but well, it is. Well, yeah. <laughs> it no, is. No, it's funny because I was saying to you yesterday as well. I mean, the, the, the whole you know the, the Eleanor Rigby track was just just seemed like a bit of a I don't know like a funny decision to me because it's not something which you would ever really expect to see on a show of that kind. And to be fair, you absolutely killed it. You did perform. Oh, and I you. I do personally, genuinely, in my opinion, I think you were the better performer. Max was great. Yeah. But I do think that you were the better performer. But the thing is with that song as well, I mean, 
Look, I don't want to diss the Beatles because they are the Beatles, but it's not even really that great a song when the, <laughs> when the Beatles performed it. <laughs> so, you know, expecting, um, you know, someone who... Uh, who comes along to a show to be a bit more contemporary because Code Line of course was what we'd seen you perform before yeah contemporary song it's yeah. not really what would have been in your mindset going into the show not at all no I mean when he when he announced the song um, I didn't I wasn't familiar but it, it, I went in away and listened to it quickly and recognised the kind of hook of the song um, but I just immediately was thinking what am I going to do with this because the, the melody just for me I couldn't see how I could show my voice off I couldn't see how I could do it um, and it took a while um, I had to go away and get my guitar and just try and play around and play around with the melody and see what I could do to try and make it sound like a song that I, w I would normally sing and how much time is there between the point at which that song is given to you and actually you perform it in front of all those the live audience there let me think it was probably three weeks so not that long really no uh, I think I thought yeah, from what I remember, about, about three weeks, yeah. Um, and you kind of, um, you meet with the band and, and me and Max met with the band to rehearse, I think, three times in total. So it's not, not a great deal of time to sort of really put a stamp on it, but I just sort of did what I could with it and changed it as much as possible to suit me. And you're friends with Max now? Have you learnt a lot from him? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, yeah Max is a good friend of mine. He's really, really, really good guy and a really talented musician as well. Um, and you have a very distinctive, different voice to mine. So yeah, I thought it was the obvious pairing, I guess, being both playing guitar and, and sort of singer songwriter, I, I suppose you call us. But um, he's a yeah a really great competitor, and it was it was good to go up against him, although difficult given that we are close. Yeah. Mm. Well, listen, Miles Evans is live in the studio to, with us this morning. Still to come, I want to ask you a question. And there's also an observation which a number of us here at Pirate made on Saturday night's show. So we'll run that past you, see if you oh, sort gosh. of notice. And no, it's nothing bad. <laughs> uh, and also, Miles will be performing live for us too, which I just can't wait to, to see uh, what you're going to pull out the bag for us today. We've got lots of lovely comments. People saying, please bring out an album. That was a <laughs> lovely comment we had there. And also saying, you sound like Graham Adams. Graham Adams, Brian Adams, Brian even. Adams, yeah. I, I think that was, that was that from, was from that Graham. Was from Graham. Um, well, compliment. listen, more of those uh, questions uh, from our listeners still to come as well. So, Miles Evans is live in the studio with us, performing live. Don't you dare miss it. Don't move a muscle. That performance will be on just after 8.30. Thanks for your calls, texts and emails, but lines are closed. So, if you've registered, it could be you winning £1,000 in cash next. <laughs>